This video is about uh, three phase transformers, and here two aspects we'll be discussing. First of all, three phase transformer connections that is y y y delta delta y and delta delta. In addition, we'll be discussing three phase transformer transformation using two transformers. And these are called open delta and open Y open delta connections. And this all involves actually end chapter problem 2.9 from the book by Mr. Chapman. So these are the basic connections. I'm sure you are familiar with this is YY, this is Y and delta, delta delta and delta Y. And all these connections are realized through one single three phase transformers. But for our ease of understanding, uh, I'll ask you to keep in mind that there are three single phase transformers. And like this one and one, primary and secondary, coming from this single phase transformer one. Similarly, two and two coming from this transformer, and three and three coming from this single phase transformer so this concept will be uh, will make it easy for us to uh, follow the subsequent uh, question now this is the question a three phase transformer bank is to handle 600 kva and have this primary secondary voltage ratio find the rating of each individual transformer in the bank and the rating primarily means that we have to find the high voltage value, low voltage value, turn ratio, and the apparent power. And the different connections are Y, Y, Y delta, delta Y, delta, delta, open delta, and open Y, open delta. So first of all, let's incorporate the values given here in all the four basic circuits, Y, Y, Y delta, 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 and delta Y. So the primary voltage is given 34.5. So in our circuit, we are writing primary voltage 34.5. Remember that the voltages given are always line to line voltage. So this is V line to line, here also line to line, here also line to line, and line to line. Similarly, this is the secondary side, 13.8. So we note down all, and these are also line to line voltages. Also, the power is 600 kVA. So the transformer power in the primary side and the secondary side remains same. So we have noted 600 kVA on both sides. So these were the four basics. The, the other two, open delta and open Y delta, will uh, be solving at the end of this lecture. The first YY connection. This is the connection, and the first thing we'll find is the high voltage. Now, high voltage is on the primary side. So basically, we'll find the primary voltage, phase voltage, primary phase voltage. Okay, so the primary phase voltage will be, for Y connection, we know that it is the line voltage divided by under root 3. So 34.5 divided by under root 3 is 19.918 kV. Similarly, second is also Y connected, so we'll use the same formula. And 13.8 divided by under root 3, so this is the secondary phase voltage. Power in all transformers, three phase transformers, power per phase is uh, total power divided by 3, so power per phase is 200 kVA. And the last thing we have to find is the turn ratio. The turn ratio is the primary voltage divided by the secondary voltage, phase voltages. So the turn ratio is 2.5. Now we'll enter all these data in form of a table. So this is YY connection, primary voltage, secondary voltage, uh, and apparent power and turn ratio. So they have simplified some of the values that we calculated. That is instead of 19.918 simply writing 19.9 and all others. This was part A. 
part B was Y delta, so Y circuit, delta circuit. We can connect the phase voltage as we did in the previous slide, dividing by under root 3. So dividing by under root 3, this is the uh, primary phase voltage. But secondary phase voltage is delta connection. So keep in mind that the line voltage and the phase voltage, they are same in delta connection. And therefore, V phase secondary is V line secondary is 13.8 kV. The power, same technique, 600 divided by 3. And the turn ratio is same formula. Just writing these two values, 1.44. Putting them in the table, we get this table. Part C is delta Y. Again, it's now easy. This is delta, so primary voltage, uh, phase voltage is same as the uh, line voltage. The primary phase voltage is same as line voltage, 34.5. This is Y, so we have to divide it by under root 3. So dividing by under root 3, this is the Secondary phase voltage, power remains same, and the turn ratio using the formula is 4.33. Putting in the table, we get the answers. And uh, last of the four is delta delta. Now you know that in, in case of a delta, the line voltage and phase voltage are same. So I just write directly for the primary. And same for the secondary, 13.8. Power, same, 200. And the turn ratio we calculate from here, 2.5. Putting in the table, we get this table. So these were the first four. Now we'll be discussing the last two, that is open delta. Now, this was the delta circuit. Open delta means that like one of the three single phase transformers has become faulty, so this is removed from the circuit. So only two transformers are left. So this has been removed here, this is removed here, and our circuit also will remove it. So removing the third transformer. But the formula remains same for calculating since this is delta, so line voltage and phase voltage is the same. So 34.5. Now, this is also delta. You, it might come to your mind that this is open. So maybe the voltage is different. But actually, in the book, a calculation has been done that even C, which is the open one here, VC has the same magnitude as VA and VB. And therefore, the voltages should be uh, same. And we can calculate now that the V uh, phase thing, uh, secondary is V line. 13.8 kV. Now the power. We have already learned that the apparent power carried by each transformer in normal condition is total power, which we are calling P3 phase, a P3 phase divided by 3, 1 over third of the uh, total power. Now in fault condition, when only two transformers are present, the transformers will be overloaded and each transformer will be carrying more than one third of the total power. And how much will be that more? In the book equation 2.99, it has been derived like this, that the KVA load carried by each, each transformer, that is the apparent load, will be 0 0.577, the total power, total P. Uh, P3 phase. So if we uh, put the total power, which is 600 in our case, 600 kVA, so per phase P open will be 346.2. So power we have calculated. Now we can calculate the turn ratio. We know these values for primary voltage and secondary voltage. And so turn ratio is 2.53. And now putting in the table, this is our table for open delta. And finally, open Y, open delta, same technique. We open one of the uh, terminals here and the other here. But the uh, voltage, we'll just follow the uh, technique that we have learned. The open wide 
open delta connection is very similar to open delta. So uh, we'll just follow the same technique. What will be? Uh, this is the line, and the phase will be one third, nineteen point nine, and this is line and phase same, so it will be thirteen point eight. And the turn ratio again we are just using the same formula, and we get the same answer for the apparent power turn ratio from here. Using these two turn ratio is one point four four. And so our table will look like this. Now we can consolidate all the answers as it has been given in the solution manual. So all the six answers have been uh, written together. So I hope this gives you an idea how to solve this type of a question. Uh, please let me know through your comments if you like the video. Thank you.